short quotes or shortened quotes are meta characters to shorten the regular expression by using a single meta character to represent several characters and there are a number of short quotes available which can be used to represent a wide variety of things such as white space which includes tabs spaces new lines and so forth other short quotes meta character are used to represent digits or characters in short short quote meta character are used to represent more than one character or a range of characters most common short quote is backslash d which is little bit more straightforward this meta character is used to only matches digits from 0 to 9 and the next short quote meta character is backslash capital d which does opposite things from the above meta character it means it matches anything which is not a digit you can achieve the same thing by adding the negated character in number range like this now next short code meta character is backslash w which is used to represent a word character you might think at first that this is only means alphabetical character but it is not quite right in regular expression a word character is represent anything from capital a to capital z lowercase capital a to z and a digits from 0 to 9 and underscore you can achieve the same thing using this regex and then there is a next short code is backslash capital w which does the opposite things from the above character it means it matches anything that is not a word character so yes there is an alternate regex which does the same thing like this now next short code meta character is backslash s which is used to represent any white space character and this includes any spaces tabs new lines etc and capital s does the opposite things it matches any known white space characters okay so now you have an idea of what short code meta characters do this short code meta character saves you a lot of typing now let's move on to the demo part so you can learn how to use these short code meta characters in your expression all right so in this demo we will use the same tool which we have used in the previous demo part so here in the input text i have defined some statement but in some pattern say the first statement contains only characters second statement contain character and numeric word third statement contain only digits fourth statement contain only spaces and the fifth statement contain character and spaces now first let us write the regex but using character class and then we will use the short code to see the effect so let me add the character range capital a to z now here i am anchoring the regex to the beginning and to the end of the string so we can see the effect properly so as you can see that this regex matches the first three test strings now let's change this character range to short code and see if we get the same result so if I add slash w over here, then again we will get the same result. Now let us try the digit short code. Yes, it works as expected. It matches only digit statement. Now what if I add the backslash s, then yes, it matches now spaces. Okay, now what about combining the short code in character class? Say, for example, if I add slash w over here, did you observe the difference? Now it matches all the statement as we combine the backslash w and backslash s in character class. Now what I want is say I want to match anything other than digit. Let me add capital D. So now it started matching the character other than digit. Now let's say I want to exclude digit as well as spaces. So for that let us match the digit and space first. Digit and space. But my requirement is I want to exclude this digit and space. So for that, let me add the negative character over here. So now it matches only characters. All right. Now let's jump into the next demo. All right. So here in the input text, I have defined some list of HL7 files. And from them, say I want to find an HL7 file which start with the three word character, 
followed by six digit date so for that one can write a simple regular expression by using backslash w shortcut character and backslash d character like this followed by underscore backslash d hl7 now here let me add the anchor in the start of the regex so that it will not matching the last file name because it is not starting with the first three characters so as you can see here that now this regular expression started matching the file which start with the first three character followed by underscore and followed by six digit date well now this regular expression looks little bit lengthy so i can make it short by using a range quantifier so let me add the range quantifier for backslash w like this and then for digit so this time again we will get the same result yes now it looks much better than the previous one right so this is how the short codes saves a lot of typing all right now let us move on to the next fundamentals